Welcome to the second part of the Macau brake replacement. First, let's uh, jack up the car safely. I got a quick jack, which is convenient to use. And then I have a tool borrowed from a friend. It's from Maxicom. And as you can see on the screen, it's MK808. I checked on Google, cost about uh, $400. But it's a very handy tool, works with a lot of OEMs. Uh, with electrical rear parking brake, you would need a access to this kind of tool to release the motor in order to do your brake pads replacement. I've read other people doing other stuff online, including taking the motor apart from the housing, and I do not recommend to do it if you can get a access to a tool because it will break the seal, and uh, breaking the seal is never a good thing for a car job. As you can hear now, the rear parking brakes are trying to get to service position by releasing the pressure so it can do our job. The rear brakes are made by TRW and it's very typical, just like a one big piston uh, simple brake system. And what I'm doing is I'm using a vise to clamp at the hex bolt in between the two caliper, actually between the caliper and the, the bracket. And then I'm using a hex bolt to take off the screw on the back. There are two, uh, two big bolts to take off and then you are brake middle caliper is free to move off. I have pre-disconnected the brake wire sensor. As you can see the connector is hanging on the left. Uh, try to do it before you try to remove the brake caliper. You're going to replace these sensors anyway if you buy new. Otherwise, you can cut them and then short them together, either solder or use electric tape. Uh, they will do the job, but I do recommend to get a brand new one and replace it. Here I'm using a seat clamp trying to help with uh, pushing the piston back to its position and uh, I do have a regular brake tool but I didn't want to take off the Porsche little plate in the front so I don't have access from the front side. So this works for me, uh, I think it will work for you. The piston is fairly loose to push back, it does not need a rotation motion or rotating motion to push it back, so any clamp type of uh, tool will work.
here is what's interesting. This rotor does not require to take off the bracket to get off. So as you can see, I hammered gently and then you can easily slide it off without taking the brackets off. That's really good because otherwise the two bolts behind the brackets are super difficult uh, to take off and you have to torque them back uh, properly. Here I did not record for the action of torquing it back. Uh, please do torque it back to the spec and then I'll put the spec of the original torque on the screen. Same thing, remember to torque all of your five uh, lug nuts back to 118 foot pounds.
Now I'm trying to end the assembly with this uh, electronic scanning tool and then we can return the motor back to its original position or initialization and then it will find its uh, relative pressure so we can resume everything to normal. Now you hear this uh, brake motor uh, are trying to find its own position and then the tool shows routine ends successfully and then let's try to push our EPB button yep you can hear it's working here I need to press the brakes yep it works thank you